They said it was for sale. However, it's $800. She tried to bite my freaking finger off. Look at this, guys. I've actually never seen this. $450. Look at them. That is by far the biggest air one I've ever seen. $8,000 for this turtle. Oh my God. Look at his head. Whoa. Oh my gosh. What is up, VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're gonna be buying something for my backyard ponds that I've always wanted. And by always wanted, I mean I decided a freaking week ago that I wanted it, and here I am buying it today. I'm really excited for this, guys. I cannot wait for you to see what we're buying. Now, usually, we're out catching stuff, but every once in a while, guys, we'll come across something where I need to buy it. I'm one of those people where if I see something and I want it, I'm just dead set on getting it. Now, it's all started a couple months ago. I posted a TikTok at the store showcasing this thing we're buying today and it got like 5 million views now until i saw this at a store i had no idea what it was i've never heard of it before i didn't think anything of it to be honest i didn't even think it was for sale because it was that cool i thought it was just the guy's pet there and until about a week ago i had forgotten about it and then i remembered it and i was like you know what that thing was pretty cool and then i decided that i wanted it i had to have it so i called them they said it was for sale however it's $800. Yep, you heard that right, you guys. It's $800. You guys don't even know what it is. And I'm sure you're already like, do not buy it. $800 is way too much for one thing. I know it's crazy, but do you guys remember the Abba Abba knife fish video? Buying the world's deadliest fish. I didn't care how much that fish was. That thing could have been $5,000. I probably would have bought it. I like having things that you guys probably have never seen before or that you don't see often. Now this big girl, this is Abby. My Abba Abba knife fish, her, her tank's a little dirty. It's hard to clean this tank because last Last time I did it, she tried to bite my freaking finger off. And that is why we called her the world's deadliest fish, guys. These fish are insanely aggressive. And she was $400. Now, that is a lot for a fish, but like I said, I think it was worth it. You know, Abby is a big part of our channel now. You guys love her. I love her. She's really cool. She's going to get to five feet long. It's just a really cool fish that you guys might have never seen before. There you go, my little guys. And uh, I think that is the same situation today with the thing we're buying. I just have that feeling again. I know you guys are going to love it i know it's gonna be a big part of our channel i mean eight hundred dollars i don't want to spoil too much guys but it's freaking cool and it kind of goes with the same theme as abby where abby needs to be in her own tank very aggressive cannot be with other fish the thing we're buying today if i'm correct literally cannot go with like any fish or it will destroy them so that is why i had to set up this brand new pond specifically for the thing we're buying today and that thing only that is the only thing that will be going in here now behind me guys this is the white pool pond this thing has not had anything in it for months now honestly personally i didn't know what i wanted to do with it but after deciding that i wanted to buy this thing i knew this was the perfect spot for them i spent all day yesterday redoing it getting it ready it's like a little river that's what i was going for like a little river stream there's tons of plants in the back live plants fake plants now guys i haven't told anyone i am buying this today especially my mom uh, and i haven't told her because i don't think she would let me one because it's 800 dollars for this one thing and two because it's really scary okay i don't know if she would allow me to have it in the backyard but it's actually mother's day today so i might you know prank her a little bit and and give it to her as a prank she she might honestly she might have a heart attack this thing is really scary but yeah guys i'm not gonna waste any more time i'm gonna make the two hour drive down to miami and we might buy something else because the store is really cool i know from past experience that they they usually have some really insane rare fish so we're gonna see you guys in miami okay guys we have made it to the store we're here at the pond doctors and now guys we're gonna do a little tour of the place and uh, look around see all the fish see what else that we might potentially buy i know there's usually some really cool stuff here so we're gonna take a look and then we're gonna go get that thing i was talking about eight hundred dollars guys i'm so excited let's go check out the place so right here guys we have a bunch of ponds on the outside and they're actually really cool they have these viewing panels now right here is where they have a bunch of african sickles. these guys are really cool but i kind of want one of these ponds they're so awesome being able to like see through it like that but they got a wide variety of cichlids in here i love the viewing panels i got a bunch of these ponds let's see what's in this one looks like a bunch of vieja cichlids we catch those in the wild a lot oh my god they got sturgeon dude look at this guys i've actually never seen this these are sturgeon they get huge and they're a whopping 450 dollars look at them 
Wow, that's insane. Back here, we got some koi. Dude, I want one of these ponds. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, those are gouramis. They got some giant gouramis back there. They got some really cool fish in these outdoor ponds. We're going to head inside right now. When I was here last time, they had some really awesome tanks with some cool fish. Let's check them out. Wow, look at the, oh my God. Look at the size of that albino arowana. That is so cool, you guys. Oh, check that out. There's a fly river turtle. These are some sick fish. Look at that datanoid in the back. There he is, he's coming out to play. They're so cool. I think he's like a little freshwater sea turtle. We got some giant koi here. This looks like it's all koi. And over there, they got a lot more tanks. Oh, wow, look at that. They got more albino arowanas, guys. I might be tempted to buy one. They got a bunch of arowanas, more albinos. I've honestly never seen an albino arowana for sale. That is so cool. Another giant garami. These guys are awesome. Oh no, oh my God. That is the biggest arowana I think I have ever seen. Holy crap. That is by far the biggest arowana I've ever seen. Look at my hand next to him. Wow. This is so cool, you guys. This tank right here, this is their display tank. I don't think these fish are for sale. Otherwise, I would definitely be buying that arowana. They also got a rip saw back there. I love rip saws. And then when you come out the other side, guys, we have more ponds out here. And down at the end is actually where this thing we're buying today is. But right now, we're just looking around, see if there's anything else cool that I might be tempted to buy. Oh, that's cool. Oh my God, I see him. Oh, dude, I freaking see him. Oh my God. Look at this, you guys. Okay, it's not him. It's not the Fly River. It's this guy. Holy crap, it's massive. I forgot it was that big. Oh my God. Look at that thing. That is insane, you guys. What's up, buddy? You want the attention too? I might buy you too. I'm tempted. The jig is up. Today, we're buying ourselves a Mata Mata turtle. They're very exotic turtle from the Amazon, and I've never seen one except for this place right here when I made that video, the TikTok. This is the first one I've ever seen, and he is for sale for $800, and my God, is he big, dude. Like, that's literally massive. This guy looks like he wants to come home too. I, I kind of want them both. Oh, Jesus. These turtles are really cool. If you don't know much about them, they, their heads are camouflaged as leaves. And like I said, they're from the Amazon. Really cool turtles. And uh, that's what we set up that pond for. That's going to be our new pet. And they are pretty vicious. Like I said, the TikTok, when he picked him up out of the water, he was flinging around trying to take the dude's hand off. So it's going to be crazy having that guy as a pet, but we're doing it. And uh, he, like I said, is $800. But you know what, guys? I think it's worth it. This Fly River is really cool, too. I want to see how much he is. I don't know. But I really want a Fly River. Oh, no. I'm not getting a Fly River, too, right? There's no no way I'm doing that. Bobby, control yourself. Oh God. Like I said, I've never seen one before that one. And I've been doing a lot of research and that is literally the biggest one I could find online. There's no other videos with one that size. Like I said, he really can't be with any fish because they do kind of lurk around and wait for the fish to go in front of their mouths and then they just destroy them. Looks like he's getting along with a fly river turtle though. So dude, I kind of want them both. The store's got some insane stuff, crazy rare fish and some awesome turtles, guys. I'm not a big turtle guy that just shows how cool this is because like a turtle to make me feel this way it's got to be cool because like i said i'm not a turtle guy i just gotta have them so guys i'm gonna go let them know that we're getting them and uh then they're gonna have to come grab them out look at that he looks like a leaf look at that head it's shaped just like a leaf and this guy's really pulling on my heartstrings he really wants to come home i think he would look so cool in the predator pond okay bobby stop control yourself eight hundred dollars bro Oh my god, $800, what am I doing? You guys better like this video. So he actually just let me know the Fly Rivers are for sale, both this one and the one outside, and he just told me the price, and uh, I think we're gonna have to pass on it. How much is it? Eight grand. Eight thousand dollars for this turtle, that is insane. If you find one for cheaper, let me know, because I'll buy it. Yeah, well, maybe one day I'll come back and, and buy them. And you said you have babies too, right? Yeah, babies. Oh, wow. So these guys, how much are these guys? Two grand. $2,000 for uh, 1, a $1,950 of that. Wow, baby. okay. <laughs> they are so adorable. Oh my gosh. I never knew they were that much. 2000 for a baby. Yeah, you, can, you might be able to find them cheaper online, but you don't know if it's a scam yeah. or a You don't know what you're getting. That's really cool. We're getting the Mata Mata. I'm not getting the Fly River. It's $8,000. And the babies are $2,000. they are cool, but not that cool. But right, we're going to pull up the truck right now to make this nice and speedy. He also just said he's going to give me some mollies too for free to put in the Mata Mata pond so they breed and create food for them. I'm nervous. Last time they took him out of the pond he almost took the guy's finger off so we'll see if that happens hopefully not all right here we go he's an attention hog no, they have great personalities oh god he's not gonna be happy yeah no 
Jesus, he is big. Oh my God, look at his head. All right. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> That is so crazy. Wow, you can really see now with the black. You can see under him too. Whoa. See how he's male? See the indentation? Oh in yeah. Shot? So that's a big male. Yeah, he should be good in there. All right, there he goes. That's good. All right, you guys, Armada Mata is in the bin right here. Look at the color on him. He is gorgeous, dude. And wow, he is a lot bigger than I remember him being. That is a massive turtle. Holy crap. All right, now we're gonna net some mollies they're gonna give us to put with him for food. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. All right, guys, we're getting gas right now, and then we're starting the journey back home. Uh, you are a terrifying, little guy. Well, one cool thing I just learned about the Matamatas is literally every single one that you buy comes from the Amazon. They don't breed in captivity. So this guy was once in the Amazon River. So that's really crazy to think about. Look at the size of them next to my hand. Jesus. God, that is a massive turtle. That's so crazy. They don't do much moving, do they? Until you bring them out of the water, then they go crazy. <laughs> well guys, we're gonna start heading to my house now and we're gonna get this guy in the pond. All right, you guys, we have made it back to my house. I have my mom behind the camera. We're gonna show her her present, okay? It's Mother's Day, you're gonna love it, mom. I know you love turtles. Okay, so I went and got you an $800 turtle. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm excited. Yeah, he's so cute, you're gonna love him. He's adorable. Ready? Okay. Are you ready for this? Okay. Guys, you, you know what it looks like, but she has no idea what this is. Okay. Three, two, are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Isn't he adorable? Oh, adorable? <laughs> oh yeah, he's real cuddly and adorable. Yeah. That's called a Mata Mata turtle. Where's his head? That's his head. Look, it looks like a leaf, right? Wow. And it's, his head's even bigger. Look how long his neck is. Ready? Please be gentle, buddy. Look at his, <gasps> look at his neck. Oh my gosh, he's oh. so cool. How cool is that, you Oh guys? my look gosh, at look at his little face. See his little eyes at the top there? Wow. So cool. All right, guys, well, we're here. This is his new home. I actually learned that the water does need to be shallow like this. It's actually good because they cannot swim very well. So if it's deep water, he will drown. I'm nervous. Please do not bite me. He tried biting the, the other guy. Oh my God. All right, he's being gentle with me. He likes me. Wow, he is so big, guys. This Mata Mata turtle is the biggest one I could find. This is the biggest one wow. I've seen on YouTube. This is insane. They use this, they, they camouflage in the leaf litter in the Amazon. When a fish goes right past his face, he will launch out and suck it in. All right, guys, we're gonna get him into the pond. Look at this. Oh, he's gonna look so cool. He's probably not gonna move much. Oh my God, he's massive. <laughs> They don't do much moving, but I'm excited to see where he will sit. I think he's gonna sit up there where the water's moving. But that is so cool, guys. We got ourselves a Mata Mata turtle. Isn't he cool? Look at that. He looks like a leaf. Oh, there's dad. Yeah, get dad's reaction, ready? Right? Just be careful. Oh! Oh my, oh! oh my gosh. Look, it's a new, it's our new turtle. Oh my God. Oh my. Get that thing away from me. <laughs> gonna get you back in your pond. He's gonna explore his new home now. I might raise the water level just a tad, but they do like shallow water. He can breathe easily. Look at that, he's already, he's moving around. Wow, he's huge. He's already exploring. I was, that's a good question. I was gonna ask the people, but I think, I think a good name is Justin Turtle Lake. I think this is Justin Turtle Lake right here, you guys. Comment down below if you agree or leave a suggestion. Comment down below, you know, some stuff to do. If you know anything about Matas or, you know, you think I should do anything, if you guys have any advice. We also have those mollies we're going to add in here, which will be his food source. We probably will make some videos catching him some more. He's exploring. I think he likes it. Our new Matam. Oh, did he just... I think he farted. All right, guys, we're actually going to raise the water just a tad just to make him a little more comfortable, get a little more depth in here. But this is looking good, guys. We have our bag of mollies he gave us, and we're going to add them as well. All right, here's our mollies. We're going to add them in right next to his face. Maybe he'll go after him. Oh, he's always oh, moving. Sweet. Now our little guy has some food. They're playing with fire right now. They're a little, they're a little close. Well guys, our Mata Mata is in his new pond. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This thing is so awesome. Go down there and leave a like guys. I really hope you enjoy it as much as I do. But right now we're going to check back in later today to see how he's settling in. Also go down there and leave some name suggestions. However, I think Justin Turtle Lake is pretty freaking good. We'll see you guys later today.
All right, you guys, it has been a full day since I last saw you, and we're gonna do an update on the Monomata turtle. Check it out. So right now, I just cut off all the pumps so you can actually see and hear better, but right there, we got the school mollies. You can see them going up. There's the mollies, they're doing good, and right there, <laughs> as you can see, is the Monomata. I just walked up and he was actually moving around. He's very active. Now they don't do a lot of moving, but uh, he does seem to like it. He does look pretty comfortable. I did come out here earlier and his head was sticking out using his nostrils to breathe air. That was really cool. But yeah, guys, as you could see, he's doing great. I really hope you guys like him. And I want you guys to go down to the comments and leave some suggestions on what to do with this pond to make it even better. Let me know if there's any fish that could go with this thing or what else I could put in here with them or just what I could do to, you know, spice up the environment for him i want to add more plants more stuff like that for him i think we got to name him justin turtle lake dude that is the biggest freaking mata mata i have seen on the internet on uh, you know in person and yeah guys i'm just really excited that we got him i love doing these videos where we come across something absolutely insane and we buy him i hope you enjoyed this video if you did go down there and leave a like subscribe down below if you haven't already i will see you guys in the next one peace out